Okay, this is a vector layer. It's a coastline. And this is a map I downloaded from the internet that shows the fractures at, of the same around on the mountain near the same coastline. It's in Haifa, Israel. And I want to project this map onto this project, although it's not geolocated. It doesn't have the quantity that QGIS needs in order to project data in QGIS. So I need to create it. And the way to create it is by using the GDAT georeferencer. And I need to load this map. It asks me for the CRS, but it doesn't have any. So I just say something. And now I need to define points here and know what's the position of those points in the QGIS project. So let's just do it. Let's, for instance, take the Titian outlet and put the control point here and extract the same position from the map and OK. Now I have a control point. I have the position in pixel on the source map and the position on the destination project. And uh, let's have a few more points. That's the second control point I can define using the same method. I'll just do it quick and rough. And the third is this one. It's in here. So I have three. And that's it. I can recognize any other points. So what I do have here is I have the grid. Let's say This point here is 195,000 on the X and 745,000 on the Y. So I can add another control point and its easting is 195,000 and its northing is 745,000. And OK. So I have four control points, not the best coverage, but it's OK. And I need to define the transformation, the transformation settings, the transformation type, the way it does the interpolation, <coughs> the output raster name. can remember, do I generate a PDF map, do I generate a PDF report, all sorts of definitions, um, mostly we stay basic on those definitions and uh, the only thing is I want to load it to my project, okay, so I have the transformation settings defined and now I just run. It did the transformation. I can save the GCP points into a file if I want to make the same transformation again. Not this time. And the map is georeferenced. And that's it.